Hi, and welcome back to Epic Life. So glad you're joining us today. We are working through a book study on a book called The Map, The Way of All Great Men by David Murrow as we're looking at three journeys of discipleship up this thing called the mountain of manhood. And those journeys are the journey of submission, the journey of strength, and the journey of sacrifice. Now, if you've missed any of the prior journeys, don't worry. You can go back and watch any of those other journeys in our former sessions. But if, to, if you've been following along with us, today we are working through what's called Trail Marker 3 up this, up the, uh, on the journey of sacrifice. And it's called Waving the Right to Act on Your Own Behalf. So what's the lesson for us? Jesus had unlimited power at his disposal. He could have taken control of the situation with the blink of an eye. He said so. Look at Matthew 26, verse 53. Actually, it's back up to 52 for some context. Put, actually, we'll go back to verse 50, sorry. Jesus replied, do what you came for, friend. This is right after Judas has kissed Jesus, betraying him, revealing to the mob that was following Judas and that this was Jesus. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrested him. With that, one of Jesus' companions... Peter, we know that from, from the other Gospels, reached out for his sword, drew it out, and struck the servant of the high priest, struck to cutting off his ear. Put your sword back in its place, Jesus said to him, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call on my father, and he will at once put at my disposal more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the whole would the scriptures be fulfilled that say it must happen in this way? It's interesting that Jesus uses the word legions there because a legion is actually a uh, a Roman military unit from the, the the Roman Empire, and if my memory serves me correctly, it's a, it's, a, it's it's around about nine thousand soldiers, professionally armed soldiers. Um, well-oiled military machine, which basically conquered the ancient world as we knew it, if you go into some of the history behind that. So Jesus could have easily snapped his fingers and 12 legions could have just shown up right there and then and fought to set him free from this mob that had, that had come to take him. Yet, Christ chose not to use his power. Why? Well, we all know the Sunday school answer. Jesus had to die to redeem man, humankind. But there's another lesson for us, for those, for, for those of us who would choose to walk the journey of submission. You see, in the first journey, we learn to depend on God. That's what it kind of means to submit. But our third journey demands a deeper dependency. The book would refer to it as holy passivity. We learn to pray and then allow God to act on our behalf, even when we have the ability to take matters into our own hands. So this is the idea of like letting God own it, letting God take control of the situation, letting God work in it versus you working in it. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes God may move you to work in that situation. But more often than not, people try to take things into their own hands and their own strength and their own power, and they just make bigger messes. The prayer for this, for this third trail marker would be this. Lord, help me to not take things into my own hands. What a beautiful prayer that is. What if we prayed that more often versus just reacting to things, right? Versus just involving ourselves in that which is not our business to involve ourselves. Which takes us to our GPS. In case you get lost on the trail, the GPS can get you back on. And it's this. I really want you to think about this today and this week. Human power always comes at a price. Human power always comes at a price. Thank you for joining us for Trail Marker 3. Looking forward to seeing you next time for Trail Marker 4. God bless and have a great day.